All right, everybody, let's go through the draw because it is officially out. Let's start with the players that are not playing, though, because there are some big names that are not playing this event. Okay, so here it is. Here are the withdrawals we have. Federer, of course, he's not playing. He's not playing for the rest of the year. Also, Garen, he's pulled out, I think, with a shoulder injury. Goffan, he's pulled out. Isna, he's not playing. Rafa, of course, not playing. Raonic, also not playing. Shapovalov has also pulled out. Dominic Team, of course, pulled out as well. Also, Berrettini, he's pulled out. And Umber has pulled out of this one. So some big names missing out of this one, especially guys like Berrettini, who are, you know, we're used to seeing in Shapo, who actually played well here a couple of years ago. So he's going to lose a lot of points. All right, here it is. The top section of the draw we have. Novak Djokovic, he gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Fucevic versus Fanini, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Manorino versus Basilashvili. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Gael Monfils in the second round. So straight away, you can see potential third round matchup between Monfils and Djokovic. Djokovic has never lost to Monfils though. So that is not a great matchup for Monfils. Djokovic will be liking that. All right, second part of the draw now, we've got Nori, the number 10 seed. He takes on Delbonis in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Krajanovic or Opelka in the second round. Then we've got Sinego versus Fritz. Very good first round matchup. Circle that one as one to watch. Winner of that plays Rublev in the second round. So there you go. You know that Rublev might be playing Djokovic in the quarterfinals. Now, Rublev has not been in great form. Nori's probably the best player out of this group in terms of form. But if we get that Djokovic versus Rublev matchup, it'll be a preview into the ATP finals. So excited to hopefully get that one. All right, second section of the draw we have City Pass. He gets a buy in the first round. He's going to get a tough second round because we've got Harris taking on Dimonor in the first round. Winner to play Sidzi Pass. That is a tough second round for Sidzi Pass, no matter who it is. Then we've got Jero versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes either Duckworth or the 14th seed, Batista Agu, in the second round. So Batista Agu versus Sidzi Pass. That could be a third round matchup. RBA hasn't been in great form, so I don't know who Sidzi Pass is going to play in the third round if... He gets through his second round because his second round is very tough. All right, final part of the draw here, and we've got FAA. He gets qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Murray or a qualifier in the second round because Murray's playing a qualifier in that first round. There's a lot of qualities in this part of the draw. Another qualifier in this part of the draw taking on Struff. Winner of that match takes on the number seven seed, Hercatch, in the second round. So FAA and Hercatch are both playing for ATB final spots. Not to mention Murray, he's in this part of the draw too, and I rate Murray's chances. I think FAA will be a tough opponent in the second round, but Murray beat her catch last week. So watch out for Murray. He might get a little lucky and be able to get out of this part of the draw finally, getting past the second round. Hopefully, we'll see what happens though. Okay, bottom half of the draw now, we've got Casper Rudd. He has a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Bublik or Evans in the second round because they're going at it in the first round. Then we've got Tiafo taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Milman or, or the 11th seed, Schwartzman, in the second round. So Rudd versus Schwartzman. That is on the cards for a third round matchup. Rudd playing for an ATB final spot. He's next in line. He's almost qualified. Uh, Schwartzman, however, is out of the race. So he can't make the quali he can't qualify for the ATB finals this year. All right, next part of the draw now, we've got Dimitrov. He takes on Gasquet in the first round. Tough first round matchup there. Bit of a veteran matchup. Circle that one as one to watch. If you want to watch a uh, couple of veterans with one-handed backhands play against each other. Winner of that match takes on either Hashinov or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Lajevic versus McDonald. Winner of that match takes on number four seed, Sasha Zverev. So we could be getting Dimitrov versus Zverev in the third round. That'll be a fun matchup. Dimi has been in form. Remember, he beat Medvedev a couple of weeks ago at Indian Wells. But this court is a little bit faster, so it's probably going to suit a guy like Zverev or even Hashinov. Watch out for him. He doesn't mind playing on faster courts too. He actually won this event a couple of years ago. All right, bottom section of the draw now, we've got Sinner, the number eight seed, by in the first round, thanks to Berrettini pulling out of this event. He'll take on either Alcarez or Herbert in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Rindenik. Winner of that match takes on either Pear or Carino Buster, the 12th seed in the second round. So Sinner, he has a pretty good draw. Alcarez is gonna be a tough opponent. And of course he is playing for an A to B final spot is Sinner. So a lot on the line this week for Yannick Sinner. And the bottom part of the draw now, we've got Karatsev taking on Korda in the first round. They actually played at the start of the year, and Korda destroyed Karatsev. So watch out for that one. Karatsev still has a slim chance of making the ATP Finals. He has to play very well this week, though. Korda's a tough first round. Chilich versus Fakina. 
They're going at it. The winner of that match will take on either Carrots or Recorder in the second round. Then we've got Avashka taking on Ramos Vinoles. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Daniel Medvedev, in the second round. Avashka versus Medvedev, second round. That is a tough match for Medvedev. Carrots of Medvedev is a tough match for Medvedev as well. And remember, this part of the draw is going to be taking on Yannick Sinner, potentially. So we could be getting Sinner versus Medvedev in the quarterfinals if it all plays out. Uh, and don't forget, Zverev is also in this part of the draw, which means Zverev, Medvedev could be a semi-final if the seeds all play out. Uh, obviously, these guys are all avoiding Djokovic at this stage. So you want to be in the bottom half of the draw. There it is. The draw for the Paris Masters. Let me know down in the comments below or in the chat who's going to win this tournament because I don't know. If, I don't think Medvedev's got a good draw. He is the defending champion. His draw is, is tough. And Djokovic is defending champion of two years ago. I'm going to go with Zverev. I think Zverev might win this one. But let me know down in the comments below or in the chat who's going to win this event. Sidzi Pass. He's the unlikely one for me, but I'm going to go with Zverev. I think Zverev avoiding Djokovic to the final. Even in the final, he can probably beat Nole. Uh, and Medvedev's draw is a little tricky for me. So there you go. I'm going to go with Zverev.